My name is Alan Freed, and uh, we're in uh, Alexandria, Virginia. It's June 8, uh, 2014, and uh, I've been requested by the National Railroad Historical Society for their uh, oral history project. They've asked me to interview, interview my father, who had a long and uh, varied career uh, on the railroad. So we're here together, and uh, Sunday afternoon, and so I'm just going to get started and go uh, talk to my dad a little bit in an informal way about his life and his uh, history on the railroad. You were uh, also involved with this uh, really an interesting operation that uh, got a lot of national attention called this Lady Bird Special. Lady Bird Johnson, Lyndon Johnson's wife, uh, ran a campaign train where she made speeches all around the South, I think, or the Southeast, and you put that train together where we were, were I, involved in it. And Tell that, us a little bit about it. That was kind of an interesting operation. Uh, she was stumping for her husband uh, through Virginia the whole way down south uh, and to uh, New Orleans and stopping at all the major cities. Uh, I got a phone call one Saturday morning and it was from Liz Carpenter who was her personal secretary and she asked me what I was doing. I says, I'm, I'm my day off. She says, not now, I want you to the White House here at 10 o'clock, which I did, naturally. <laughs> and we went down and we talked about the operation, what she wanted, and so on. And it started in Washington with the RF&P. Uh, different railroads who were participating in the operation sent their office cars and business cars up here uh, for the top personnel, Lady Bird and, and her crew. Uh, then we had special cars like 10 and 6 of bedrooms and roomettes for the reporters. Mm -hmm. And it was kind of interesting. One of my favorite stories was pulling into Rocky Mount on the coastline and we had a, a, a train master named Jake Jones, tough as nails, but a uh, good guy. And he was on the platform. The normal procedure was that the mayor of that particular town would go back to another town and be seen riding into the city with Lady Bird. Into so his city, that was yeah. A good deal. So I get off the train and, and Don Martin's there. He's the vice president of public relations. Jake's standing there. And I'm there and we're talking. And Liz comes up and she says, uh, ask how everything, or Don asked how everything was. She said, well, it was very good, except, and I never knew what the heck was going to come, but anyway, she said, the chili's not hot enough. Well, I said, uh, Don said, don't worry about that. Jack will take care of that. So I did. I went in and talked to the cook. And we left the station and going down the track. And they came in for lunch. And uh, her, Lady Bird and her? Lady Bird and uh, Liz. And... We were sitting across there looking at her, and I thought her eyes was going to pop out. <laughs> Don says, is that hot enough? She yeah, yeah, that's hot enough. <laughs> I'll never forget. It was kind of interesting. Uh, but uh, uh, we ended up to, in, uh, well, we ended up in, we went to Charleston, and we got off there. In Charleston, we turned over to the Southern Railway for a little small operation of it. Uh, we went into town to take a shower and clean up and everything, three of us. And I don't know what they thought when they'd see three guys coming in asking for a room for about three hours. <laughs> but anyway, uh, it was interesting. Uh, a, a murder had happened at that night. And so we got stuck in the trooper's car riding around. Was he taking you to town? He took us into town, finally dropped us off, yeah. But... Uh, uh, it was interesting. We ended up at New Orleans, and the decision wasn't hadn't been made yet whether they were going to take the train into Dallas. So once they got to New Orleans, I guess she talked to Lady Bird, talked to Lyndon and whatever it was. And they decided to terminate the train at New Orleans. I left the train and I flew to Miami. I got I had a group down there anyway. I wanted to see, but it was kind of an interesting operation. That first class all the way. And I got one phone call, and it was kind of interesting. Some of the reporters were trying to determine, was this a freebie or was it not? And 
they called and wanted to know if Lady Bird had paid her bill. And I said, well, let me check. So I called the White House and I talked to Liz again and I said I wanted to talk to Lady Bird and of course I didn't get her. But I told them what had happened about paying the bill. And this was about five. And they hadn't paid it? They hadn't paid their bill yet. And so she called back and said, don't leave your office until I call you. And I said, okay. So the National Democratic Committee office was right across the street. And about 15 minutes later, here comes somebody from the office giving me a check. Now, I don't know whether my railroad was the only one that got their money or not. I didn't care. But I know we got ours. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Pop.